Hey guys, we are live. It is Shoshi with Shoshi's Minis and it is Friday and we are on part two today of my like kingdom death after Gen Con kind of week is what we're doing. Yeah. So hey, sneaky tiny small, Baron Von Uppercase, Userwood, NG Lemunus, Lemonus. <laughs> Welcome everybody. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. We're gonna be doing um, a lot of painting of the little bitty miniatures. So I wanna show you guys, I just posted on my social media, I've been working on this little gal. Here, let me see if I can get my focus a little better. I set my focus like right about here, but I think I need to bring it in closer. Ah, Dr. Note 66 coming in with the subscription. Thank you so much. Hello, Christopher Painting and Krylos. 
and in Teveston and Palace of Pep. All you guys are popping in. That's awesome. Dr. Notes, I'm going to write you down here for subscribing with your Twitch Prime. That is awesome. Dr. Notes. And um, just so you guys know, if you subscribe this month, you'll be eligible to enter the drawing that I'm going to do on, let me see the date. Bear with me. I'm going to tell you what the day, actual date of the drawing is. It will be the 16th, so it'll be a week from today. So next week, we're going to do a gift giveaway. And we already have the shipping paid for of an Everlasting Wet Palette from Redgrass Games. They're one of our sponsors. And it comes with the palette, um, the palette itself, a band to hold it together, the little wavy that is like a little wet palette, or sorry, dry palette, and then 50 sheets of the hydration paper and two of these um, sponge, hydration sponges. So, and I'm also gonna give away a packet of um, Everlasting Wet Palette hydration paper sheets. So that's also gonna get given away. That's for subscribers only. So all of you guys who are subscribers, you are gonna be all set. Dr. Note, I gotta fin finish writing here. Dr. Dr. Note 66, thank you so much. It's a beautiful mini. Oh, thank you so much. Let's look at it a little closer because I know I can adjust my um, camera a little bit here. Give me one second. Do, 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 do. Okay, hold on one second. I had it adjusted for like right about here, but it, you can see, you can't even see your expression with this. Let's do focus. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So I painted this, um, so Flickster, he's another streamer you probably know and heard of. He does these um, hangouts with his subs on Friday. And, um, it's my morning, it's his evening. But um, I painted this in that time when I was hanging out with Flickster. So, Should, okay, let me ask you guys your opinion. Should I leave the focus right here? Or should I pull it back out so you'll be able to see the, the desk a little better? I want it maybe like right right there let me see tell me what you guys think because I kind of want to kind of want to leave it so you can see real well because that's good out a little bit you think it should be out a little bit sup Drax oh my gosh Drax you're home or maybe you're still at work what does she represent this is a cleric so she's got a mace right here and a lantern and a shield and it's funny because she's got that expression on her face, like she's just kind of like, uh, because look, she's standing, she's standing around a whole bunch of gore. And clerics can't do much except turn undead, right? So she's just like, mm, maybe what do I know? Best to trust your mods. <laughs> let's just, let's keep it here. And if we need to pull it out a little bit so you can see what's on my desk, then we could do it. Mostly all I do is write down my subscribers. Point is, at what distance will you paint comfortably? That is true. I'll probably paint right there. So let's pull it out just a smidge. That is, a, that is the best point made. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Here we go. Overhead, properties. So finicky, huh? Okay, so like right there is where I can see it good. And I'm also gonna be wearing some, what do you call these? Um, OptiVisor today. I'm gonna try wearing an OptiVisor and see if I can do it on stream. All right, let's do camera control, focus. There, that's pretty good, right? Right. Mm, see, that's too far for me. Hold on. Right there. That's probably good. You guys can see her. She's in focus. Can I focus her even more? Like right there. That's good enough. I'll just leave it. You can still see Dr. Notes. That's awesome. Perfect. Lovely paint job. Thank you, Alu. How are you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. All right, so I've got three that I want to paint today, and I'm going to let you guys pick. 
So these are all from the Echoes of Death. I've got the Gladiator. She is from the Echoes of Death. What is that? That's like some schmutz right there. Got it off. Made another new painting, painter happy today. What'd you do? What did you do? This is the, um, which one is this one? This is the Druid. The, the, yeah, that's the Druid. She's got a little bow. I always call her the Archer, but according to Kingdom Death's website, she's the Druid. And then I have the Bard, and she's got a little harp, and she's got a little face thing. She's got some kind of weird, I guess it's plants underneath her. I'm not really sure. I think it's these parasitic hands. But yeah, so what, what, let's go ahead and make a pole. What scale are they? They are about 28 to 30 millimeter figures. We're gonna make a little quick pole. I'm gonna let Chet choose. Gave away a beholder. Aw, that's so nice. <laughs> Winter's awesome. All right, add a pole. Add a pole? Yeah. Um, which, instead of which starter should I choose, I'm gonna write which, which KD figure? KD Echoes of Death 2. Figure should I choose? Let me see if I can do this option. Let's see, one is gonna be the bard. And then I'm gonna add, can I add that? Nope. Minimum of two. Hmm. I, you know, I never, I can never figure out how to do these poles. Yeah. Options, so bard. And then, oh, let's do commas, that'll work. Uh, let's see, we got Gladiator. And we've got, what's the last one? Oh, Druid. All right. And then, I don't know what command. Let's try that. Is it gonna be done? Nope. Hmm. Well, we'll try this. That's not gonna work. We'll try a different pool. East European time zone sucks and you can't stay up late too often. Oh, pick the druid, the ranger. Okay, you guys are already voting. So, this is the ranger. This is the bard. And this is the gladiator. So one, two, or three. Okay? One, two, or three. This is three. One, two, three. Okay, we got two. That's so much easier for me to track the numbers. Good, good, good. I'm seeing a lot of ones, a lot of gladiators. Ranger is really nice. Ranger is number two. Woo! Oh no! Hold on, I've got to get that underneath the cap, underneath the table. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay, so now I'm seeing one, two, three, four, twos, five ones. Yeah, I did drop it. We don't have a drop command in this. I think we have a lost command. Exclamation point lost is what you want. <laughs> don't say 63. No bad option on this one. That's true. They're all gorgeous. There you go. Sure she has dropped something and couldn't find it three times. <laughs> It's only one time. So funny, it keeps track. I did find it though. There she is. All right. So far, the gladiator is winning. Let me just check. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, okay. So it looks like the druid. I'm gonna pick the druid. We're gonna work on her. She's actually my favorite, so I'm actually excited to work on her. She's got a little lantern back there. We're gonna start on the lantern. Is the bard a repose? Yes, it is. Drax, 
Check it out. And I actually don't like this pose all that much, and I'll tell you why. Look at what she looks like when you're looking at her straight on. Boring. Look, you can't even see her face. Now, if you're tipping it like this, you can kind of see it. But really, I mean, she's just, she's a profile or, a, or three quarters. That's how she looks best. Her face is really white because I've blasted it with the white. Did I ever find my airbrush cone that I dropped the other day? I think I did. The cone? Or the, uh, t the tip? I guess I don't know what you mean by cone. We're going to paint this girl. Let's get out. Uh, you know what? I don't have my whip. I had my, okay, you know what I've been doing? That's why I don't have my wet palette out. I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna use a dry palette. Do you, is that okay? We're gonna use one of these wavies. I'm just gonna pour paint on the top of it. No, I lied. I'm gonna use a wet palette. It's over here and I just need to not be lazy. Hold on. Ah, there it is. Internet hates you, so you're gonna go to sleep. All right, good night, Sneaky. You have a good sleep. Here's my wet palette. Mm hmm Okay, water. I'm gonna pull that there. Put a little bit more water. There we go. All right. Set this off to the side here. We're gonna put a piece of Hydration paper from Redgrass Games. There we go. Ooh. All right, that should be nice. Yeah, I hope it gets fixed too, Sneaky. All right, I'm looking at her. I'm going to show you guys a picture that I'm gonna be working from. I've got her already set up. Okay, so in this, here's the art. I'm gonna put it in the chat for a second here. This artwork is the original Kingdom Death artwork. You're gonna get Kingdom Death I'm hoping to pick up Echoes 2 from the sale. Until then, I've got some plastic witch disciples. Those are awesome. So I don't know, Baron um, Von Uppercase, if you know the lore behind the witches, it's that they all get their power from these like parasitic clothing. And it like feeds on them, but it gives them power. And what's really cool about that, so all of the dresses and the outfits are like alive. Is it Twitch safe? Is this Twitch safe? Yes. Yeah, she's got a whole little tunic and everything on. Yeah, and the, the artwork is definitely Twitch safe. I just posted it. You can take a peek. Yes. Yeah, she's, I mean, she's curvy, but she's, she's Twitch safe, I'd say. Well, she got a little tattoo on her arm and on her leg. I'm going to probably try to do that as well. Now the colors in Kingdom Death are kind of muted. Let's see if I can start. I'm gonna adjust colors just a smidge, just a little bit, because I want things to be a little bit more interesting. So I've got Brain, Adder, Brain Eater Azure, and I've got, um, li how do you say that? Lindanel Gray. One is more purple, one is more blue. But they are both in the scale fantasy and game set. Shake that up. And then I need some kind of really dark navy blue as well. Ooh, that's really purple. I don't know if you guys can see that. Look at that. So that's, this is the Brain Eater Azure and it's way more purple and that one is way more, I don't know, like a lavender, lavender. Okay. And then I guess I have this dark purple, which is, it's it says purple, but it, it's, yeah, it's very purple actually. We'll put that on there and we need a dark blue. Probably, how about some of this? Uh, Arianhod blue. 
This is a mixture of Scale 75 and a mixture of the Pro Krill from Creature Caster. All right, that's that, that's that, okay. I think we are good. I wanna gray, just, let's do this one here. This is, well, it's not gray, but it's like a, a desaturated blue tint, um, Arctic blue. I'm just putting all these blues on the palette now. Okay. That's, that's already on the palette, but that's actually not what I'm gonna paint first. I'm gonna switch back to chat so I can read you guys. Yeah, I know it's hard to say exactly, I know. Don't worry, I won't, I wouldn't flash you guys. Hey, Artie Wolf, how's it going? The flower witch dress, dresses and the red witch cloaks too, all the dope clothes want a piece of you. Yes, exactly. Very excited to paint the Red Witch's expansion. Love bright colors. Me too. So I've got my, my, um, this is, what is it called? Dur? It's, uh, ooh, I didn't realize it had that too. This is a Optivisor. I'm gonna try to use it for the first time during the stream. That means I'm gonna take off my headset um, so I can put it on. And I can wear it with my glasses. And what that also means is I can kind of just flip up and look at chat so much easier without taking my glasses off. I'm hoping that this will be a new thing that I can do so I'm not always taking my glasses off. The visor, the visor trials, I know, yes. Look at this thing on my head, it'll look like a silly. <laughs> but you know what? I'd rather be able to see and be able to look at chat real quick. You haven't seen that one? You can that can go over glasses. Yeah, this one is actually great. Look at, can you see that? Here, look, I'll, I'll even show you face. I look, oh, that was my airbrush. Luckily it had a little cover. So I, I look like um, Cyclops from <laughs> the X-Men. <laughs> this is the visor you use the most? Yes, I just dropped something. Stop it. <laughs> Don't, what do you think? This is Flick's channel where you can just troll me? I will troll you back. Just watch. <laughs> all right. The first thing I'm going to do is not this all this blues and everything. I'm actually going to work on her skin tone. And for this girl... I started with the red base, and you can kind of see it on the back of her legs because that's where I left it, you know, a little bit darker. And I'm still not done with her, so I may bring her up a little bit. I gave her kind of um, a little bit of a golden skin tone. We'll see what happens. I could be a rigger in a cyberpunk game. Yes, that is true. <laughs> so let's see. She is a ranger. She's going to be out in the sun a lot. So I don't think I mind having her be a little more on the tan side. So the first thing I'm going to do is I need my reddish color. This is it. So I got this. This is not exactly a recipe. Oh, the angry redhead. Thank you. Woo. Two whole years. Oh, my gosh. Did you get it? You got the platinum heart on next to your next to your name. That is so awesome. Thank you so much, the angry redhead. Angry. Um, for those of you who are Canadian, I have some really cool news. Um, my husband just found out that the local airport here in my town is going to be getting some kind of um, security. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but basically... It'll have some kind of customs and border security. And what that means is um, we'll be able to fly to Canada from our hometown without stopping at a different airport um, because there will be, it's basically like, it's like an alternative international, right? So that would be awesome if I can go and visit Canada. You don't know what you mean? You never troll flick? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Out in the sun. You're right. She's not in the sun. I don't know what's thing. Oh, we're still going to do this. We're going to do this. This is Burgundy Wine by 
<laughs> you guys are spunky today. Sassy. Where's my sassy emotes? <laughs> Hang on, I get this for you guys. I got this, I got two emotes for you. I got the sassy and I got the troll. I haven't used the troll one in a long time. There, that's you guys right there. <laughs> so burgundy wine is a nice deep burgundy. You could probably use, um, probably use this uh, Arbuckle's Brown also, but I want to use flat. So I'm gonna stick with the burgundy. And I'm gonna use this as my base for my skin tone. And I'm just gonna paint everything on her skin. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go, I got my visor is on. It's funny cause like, it's, I can see really, really, really well with this. This is amazing. Now I just need to make sure, can you guys see really well? There we go, we're gonna hold her right there. And I'm gonna start in here. Now, we so even though I have my glasses on, I still am not gonna be able to read chat easily without looking up and taking them off. So we'll just treat it as if I have glasses on. So you can do my glasses, I guess we need a glasses on or a visor on thing now, right? And the reason why, we always talk about how the um, there's like an order to painting minis in a way that will help you get the best possible outcome. And what that means is we're painting from the inside out. So the first layer is gonna be her skin because that is on the very inside. I think I will go ahead and paint her whole, her whole face with this color. She's got a kind of a big face. Oh, I just found a cat hair or some kind of piece of lint. That's kind of cool that I can actually see that. Oh, this is so much better, guys. The fact that I can just flip up and look at chat. Also, yay for not having to fly to other places to come to the grounds. So my first workshop, I will tell you, if I have one in Canada, I need to figure out how to get a work visa because I don't want to work in a foreign country without one. Um, well, because it's illegal, but... <laughs> But if once I find out what the deal is um, and what I could do, then uh, Toronto would probably be my first stop, most likely, because I have relatives there, and I also have quite a lot of friends in Toronto. Is it is it Toronto, with where you don't emphasize the last T, or is it Toronto, where you? And I always emphasize the last T, probably. I'm not supposed to do that. She has a little circlet, like a little cat eye circlet on. For those of you guys who don't know in the game terms, if you have a cat eye circlet, you can look at the next couple cards to see what's gonna happen. Um, next couple AI cards rather to see what you can kind of like predict what the monster's gonna do. Also as an archer, um, she would either like, I think take a movement or use the and she can either lose an action and and fire, I believe. I can't remember. Oh, let's get these fingers. She's got some claws in here too. For those of you guys at home who are putting her together, she's got this one little piece that I had trouble finding and I figured out it goes right. It's the other claws on this hand. This is so much better. Why am I using that for the base color? That's a really good question. So the reason is because it's the same kind of underpainting idea as the green undertone. The, the brown or the, you can either use brown or this is a burgundy, is going to give us very dark contrasted shadows. So the kind of style I'm using this time, I'm gonna show you, this is, this is Elizabeth Beckley Bradford's work and that's kind of what I'm, basing some of my, she actually gave me this. Can you see his abs? They look kind of almost a little cartoony. She started with the brown skin tone base. 
And I feel like Kingdom Death really lends itself to this style. She is the studio painter for um, Kingdom Death. And she actually has a Patreon called Miniature Monthly where you can um, learn to paint like this. Anyway, this is a style I don't usually use. Good evening, Illustrated Nerd. Happy painting to you too. <laughs> I completely agree. Wait, wait, I don't wanna get ahead of chat. Okay, so anyway, so we use this, see how dark his shadows are. And that's because she uses a layering, layering method. And that's kind of what I'm doing. A little bit of my style plus a little bit of Elizabeth's style in order to get this look that I'm going for, which is a, li a little bit different than my normal style, which is a lot more painterly. So this is a little bit more, a little bit more cartoony. And um, so we're starting with the red so that you can get a nice, nice contrast. It's a big contrast, actually. Oops, sorry, I gotta get back on camera. Um, what, let's see, and they have great nerd gaming cafe. Who did, what did I miss? Oh, Toronto has a great nerd gaming cafe? Okay, I gotta go now. <laughs> I think Mike is home already, that's pretty cool. Cat's eye is pretty broken. Burying the trap is really strong. I completely go, completely agree. Toronto has the Gaming Nerd Cafe. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna put my visor back down. This is so nice. I really like just being able to flip that up and look at you guys and read chat. I'm making sure I'm on camera too. All right, we're just getting everything. I think she, does she have gloves? No, she does not have gloves. All right. Hello, Mike. How are you? Are you gonna be in our stream? No. Why? Uh, I'm relaxing. Okay. <laughs> I like your spectacles. Like it? Mm -hmm. All right. No. Hi. He's relaxing, he's not gonna join us. <laughs> All right, we're back. There we go. Am I on camera? Good. So yeah, this is my base coat. I'm just gonna get all this nice dark purpley goodness. It's um, at, what did I color? Did I say it was? It was um, burgundy wine, which is a nice reddish purple color. Now she's got a whole lot of leg. I want to make sure to get it all. we go. I like the um, cat's eye circlet because because of the, the fact that you can find the trap card and, and it can make a big difference. Um, our next fight is going to be the Kingsman, which ugh, I'm not looking forward to. And I think we're going to need a cat's eye circlet. Um, definitely in our next game. I think we got at least one ranged fighter that has one. Okay. Now this character does have a little bit of booty back here. The nice thing about painting from the inside out is all of the mistakes that you make right now, they're gonna get covered up later when we start adding other, other layers. So like for instance, this layer of this boot is gonna cover up any mistakes that got up on that fur, right? So, and so on and so on. So if I get any, anything on that leather belt right there, that belt gets painted later. And that makes everything look very clean when we finish painting it. Oops, see like right there. I just blurred paint all over the top of that boot, but it's okay, because that's gonna get painted secondary. Okay. Do you guys notice, I wanna show you something that I do. This is something that I teach kids in school. Um, so I painted around the edges of her, of this part, and then now that the edges are all painted, I can kind of paint faster in the middle and keep that nice and smooth. So I'm gonna show you, whoa. My hair dryer fell down. I didn't do it. Hi, Rebel Star Raider. 
Smacks Twitch. What's wrong with you, Twitch? You almost made me miss Shoshi. Ty, sometimes you gotta hit. I think there's like. I can't remember. There's a there's a little bar that you can have alerts. I dropped something and couldn't find it. <laughs> uh, thank you. You like the Echoes of Death cleric. Right now we're painting the um, the ranger. Is she, is she the ranger? Yeah, she's the ranger. And we're using a dark purple undertone. And we're going to build up a lighter skin tone on top of it. Um, oh, you sent me the link for the cafe. Awesome. Please come visit us in Toronto. Cool. <laughs> Mike, is a, Mike is a butt. <laughs> Cat's Eye has limited use against Kingsman. The first three HL cards after any shuffle are dead draws. That's true. Boo. You do have the alert on? So I guess the only thing I could do is just put an alert in your phone. That might be the next best bet because sometimes Twitch only, sometimes Twitch doesn't alert everybody. It's funny. It's fickle. All right, so watch. So right up here by the edge of her skirt, I'm going to paint my edge carefully. And slowly. See if you can see that. And then around this belt. And so now that is completely edged or whatever you want to call it. And then now I can paint quickly in the middle. Although I did mess up right here. Could have got it any closer. Okay. Same thing on this one. So if I paint this right, and then then I can paint fast in the middle. It just helps. It's kind of like a coloring book technique I learned. Get her fingers. Elbow. All right, I think I got it all. The last bit of the underside of this hand. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, everything looks good. I think I got all the main base coat. Do uh, no, I'm not doing draw skin. This is just a different a different method of painting. We're going to end up with something that looks a little bit like this, and I'm just showing you the technique that I used to get this. See, in the back you can see where it's still kind of reddish brownish. So now I need, where is that color? We're going to put some basic skin. Oh, no, 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 no. Take that back. Take that back. We're going to use tanned shadow is our next color. And I'm going to mix this on my palette a little 50-50 with my reddish color. So it'll have, see we're gonna put some of this over here, some of this over here. So we get kind of a mauve mid-tone. I'm gonna add a little bit more. So it's, it's, a, it's a dark mauve, because I've added just a little bit more um, to that, just lightening that. No, we're not doing dark elves, guys. Just watch, watch. <laughs> All right. So starting with this new mauve colored mid-tone, I'm going to start at the apex. Oh, i got to put my visor on. Start at the apex. Oh, I just took my glasses off, and now I can't see with my glasses off. Derp. Okay, that's better. And I'm pulling the paint slowly toward the kneecap because the knee is the highest highlight point, right? So that means all the other bits of skin down here, and we're layering this, right? So we want it nice and smooth. And I'm not trying to hit all of that dark part by the 
See how that is our next layer? It takes a little bit. And then on here, the top of her thigh is going to be the next, next darkest. Now you can, you can probably paint a drow using the same technique. And again, again, I'm just focusing on the top of this thigh and I'm doing a little bit, almost like a, like a mopping kind of. Do you see how even and how it gradiates from dark to light on my finger? That's, that's the technique that I'm using to get my blend. And I'm mopping it back toward the part that is dark, leaving the, leaving the highest amount of paint on the apex right here. I'm gonna add a little bit more of this tan skin so I'm going to get a little bit lighter for my next layer, and I'm going to go not quite all the way down, right? For each layer, it's like shingles on a roof, one on top of the other. And each one is overlapping a little bit less each time, so that way we get... a nice um, volume. See that? I'm going to take a little bit more brown this time, a little bit more town skin. It's still dry, or sorry, it's still drying, so I'm not supposed to mess with it too much. Yeah, I don't want to mess, so I'm going to go somewhere else on the model. I'm going to mix my mouth. Lovely, like your green under, you, yes, exactly like my green, un, green dirt undertone. Let me see you mauve. <laughs> I like to mauve it, mauve it. I like to move it, move it. <laughs> oh, you guys, it is Sassy Friday. I think so. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Some people need to go home from work. <laughs> Again, I'm going to... See how I'm leaving this the apex of the... That's the lightest part. Now that this is dry, you want to make sure each layer, now I can go back in with my brown, each layer is going to be bone dry before you put the next layer on. So now right about here is my next layer. And because I'm wearing this visor, I'm getting the most awesome blends I've ever gotten on stream. I'm really happy about that. A little bit more brownness right here. See, we can wet blend that a little bit more. See how it's slowly building up the highlight. Now, you guys might have watched Flickster. He does use this blending kind of technique. That's one thing. That's, it is a lot slower than my normal kind. You've been home for hours, but the fumes from your new countertop resin are making you loopy. <laughs> 30 minutes in model newbie is free. That's funny. All right. Let me get my mauve, mauve mid-tone back. Notice that, so the first layer right here, imagine this is like a, a speck uh, or a, a, what do I want to say? Imagine this is my first layer. We're getting very detailed in my descriptions here this time. I just, I'm sure you guys know already, but there might be people here, like model not so newbie, who might not know. All right, so then my next layer is going to go a little bit more on the inside of that, right? So it's leaving that edge of the darkest part. That's what we're doing on each. Now the next one is going to have a little more brown, and it's going on inside of that, like, like a like a nest, right? Like a, a nesting nesting doll. Okay. Each one of these layers needs to dry in between, which I'm not letting that happen right now. And then the final layer right here is just the brown. See how it gets smaller and smaller and smaller, and now it looks 
wait, no, you can't even see it because it's, it's too far away from, let me do this. <laughs> we can't focus it. I'm going to bring the paper to you. So can you see how I've done my different layers? We've got one layer and then two layer and then three layer and then four. So that's basically what I mean by this with the, with the layering. This technique is very, very good for getting smooth blends. Okay, let's do, see? And I leave that little edge of brown in the, in the recesses. So this, this part of here is going to be shadowed. I'm going to grab a little bit of mauve so I can blend it into that shadow, right? Let's flip her around a little bit, add a little bit more of this light color there, see? Now when we get over to this side, that side's going to be mostly shadow, so I'm going to go back and add more of the mauve to keep that darker. So we basically, we, we blended it around. We're getting lighter and lighter as we go. That's actually very helpful. You post it on D D Discord, the whip section, an issue you're having with the skin tone blend. Oh, good. I think I saw that. Um, I don't know, I didn't get a chance to look at your question, though. But I did see you post. So this is exactly what you were kind of asking about then. See how we're getting lighter? Let's, oh, I have no idea. Oh, that's like part of the light of the visor. So let's, let's go on. We're going to, I want to build things up kind of evenly. It takes a little longer, but this way things kind of all come into focus at one time. So this is my second, second layer of M mauve and the tan skin. I'll leave a kind of like a band of that purple still there. See that? Just like that. If I uh, make sure I'm on cam, good. Here we go. See how it's it's acting like it's starting to look a little bit more defined. Same thing over here. All I'm doing is highlighting. And I leave that little bit of darker darkness in the recesses. And then I just keep, so I, because I have my little strip of colors, I've got my dark to my light, I can go and choose from any one on this, on this strip, whether I want more brown or more mauve to make it, um, to, to adjust the colors at all. So here's more brown, right? Because that's my highlight. And if I need to knock it back down, then I just come back at it with a more, more mauve. I don't want to knock it back right down then. Okay, so this is dry. Remember, we're moving around the model. More brown, more brown. I'm being trying to be careful to, as I build this up to make the layers thin. You want to be thinning your paint onto your wet palettes. Otherwise, if you build it up too fast with too thick a paint, it's going to show. It's going to look, it's going to look like it's built up. All right, on this side, we're going to build, build the shadow right there. A little bit more thin. There we go. And I'm also controlling the water in my brush, just like this, by I'm blotting every so often on the paper towel. Same thing with the paint. If I've got too much paint, I'll blot it on my 
on my paper towel or I'll grab some water, see if there's too much water on my brush. I will drop it onto my, my paper towel. Hodgemark, how are you? <laughs> okay, so now you can see that we're building things up. Let's get this part lighter too. I can add a little bit. So remember, I'm, I'm pulling everything toward that kneecap because ultimately that is going to be the lightest point on the leg and also the top because if if you think about a cylinder, you have to think about, let's write this here. Here's a cylinder. And her leg is like a cylinder, right? Then the highlight's gonna be basically on the top. That is my highlight even though I drew a black or dark, right? So that's my highlight. And if you think about like each shape on her, you're thinking about each volume where the highlight's going to be. So for me on the top of the leg, going down to the kneecap is my, my highlight there. And it's going to get smaller and smaller. Blending in those. And I can, if I get too light, I can bring it back down. So let's look at that. See how it's getting, and I, this is also a really, you know, if you want more like a brown skin tone, this is a good, this is pretty good. Although, mm, you know what? Let's vote on whether we want to have her have a browner skin tone. I like that idea. I think she would be cool looking. We can do, we can add a little bit more orangey colors to get her to be, the miniature's name is the Ranger, Kingdom Death Ranger. Mare me. Um, so tell me, what do you guys think? Darker skin tone, lighter skin tone. We can, we can turn this into um, a more warm, I'd like to make it a, a more warm, warm skin tone. Yeah, from the Echoes of Death set too, exactly. Darker skin tone for sure, okay. I already wanted to, so that's what we're going to do. <laughs> Hi, Mikolas. It's going well. We're going to do this druid in a dark skin tone, and it's cool because she's got, in the artwork, we already showed you the artwork, she's got, like, you know, blue, blue hair, so that'll look really pretty with this. All right, so since we're going with the darker skin tone, and you can see it's a little bit more, like, if you were going to paint... Maybe somebody from the Aboriginal Isles. It's a little bit um, on the gray side for skin. So I'm going to go and see. Let's see. I need to flip this up. I need something like um, with some more warm colors for, for a real nice warm brown skin. Um, I think I'll use this. This is orange leather. And I'm going to put this in the middle. That'll be very pretty. We're going to mix that with my with my burgundy. Ooh, that that is a very pretty color right there. <laughs> Light clothes, dark skin. Yep, I think that will look good. Keep you keep teaching, I keep clipping. Awesome. I like that. So this is a mixture of the burgundy and the um, orange leather. Okay, so let's try this. I'm going to thin this out because I want to make sure to do thin, gradual buildups. In fact, where's my little... I thought I had a dilution helper. I don't. I'm just going to have to show it to you on here. So look at this. When I bring that orange on there, look at how that changes changes her skin color completely, but gives her some life because it gives, adds that warm richness. And I'm gonna do the same thing on her other highlights, focusing on making make sure that I'm bringing that 
highlight onto her, um, the you know, the top, the main, I don't know what to say. My words are just failing me. <laughs> Let's see here. What I meant to say is that I'm, this is the next layer, the next shingle on the roof. And I want to make sure that I'm only highlighting that I'm not pushing this lighter color down into crevices, right? Because I don't want that. Very pretty. It's on the top, top of her leg right here. Leaving all that brown underneath with the tan as a shadow. Okay, do you see, do you see this? This thing, this is what I call feathering. What other people call feathering too. But it's it's just short. Here, let me. It's another type of blending. So we sh I showed you the, the mopping. This is a little bit more, see how I'm barely touching the tip of my brush. And I'm hit, hitting and I'm blending it so nice. I want to be doing that and then it's so thin too. All right, that that came out a little bit chalkier than I wanted it to. Hmm, that is because I'm using flat paints. So let's do this. Let's do just the orange. We might have to go back and add a little bit of um, satin medium or some kind of, because I don't like chalky skin. That's better, slightly. This is just the just the um, the highlight of the orange leather, and I'm making the highlights very small. All right, I need to look at this again. Now she looks like she's wearing tights. What did I do? So what's wrong with this is the it's the flat paint. Skin is not flat, so we're gonna do something about that. We need. Let's try this Caspian flesh wash. Um, any kind of flesh wash will work. This has a little bit, I think the Caspian has more red in it. It could be more sepia, it might be more sepia. Let's try it. Yeah, I think it's gonna work. Caspian flesh wash by P3. Any kind of flesh wash is gonna work though. So, ah. so what prevents it from getting in the sit in the striations or the harsh lines between the layers. What prevents it? Yeah, it does warm her up. Thank you for the host, Mikolai. If she said, if she said I had to take a call and actually do it's my job. Um, so what prevents it from getting the striations or harsh lines between the layers? So that's what this, this um, wash is actually gonna help m blur all of those striations and all of those things. Oh yes, I like that a lot. See how that just instantly became skin-like with that little bit of little bit of wash. Cuz uh skin is not matte and it looks weird when it's all dry. So when we put this little layer on this, not only is it going to blend all of these highlights. Let's see what I can do with this. So I want that to be a more orangey. Yes. So this is the orange leather mixed with the tan skin for that final highlight. But because that wash is on there, I'm hoping that not only will that help it blend, but that'll help it look not chalky. Let's see what happens. Mm-hmm. Mm. Getting there, huh? It looks so much better already. Let's do the rest of her 
body. And I can leave a lot of that back there. We can put some wash on it back here to make that so that's not matte either. But we can leave it dark because that's in the shadows, right? We can even take a little bit more of this red, that burgundy, and bring that bring that dark up. There we go. I like it. The trick is going to be making all of her other clothing. <laughs> all right. That's looking good. I'm happy. Let's work on her face. She's got a really awesome face. It's a very, she's got a very strong expression. So the first thing I'm going to do, again, I'm going to mix my burgundy and my orange leather together, thin it out on my palette, and I'm going to start on the spot that I want to be the lightest, which is going to be the end of her nose, right? I'm gonna, I want that to be the lightest. And then under her eyes is the next lightest spot. I'm just going to highlight down her cheek and smooth it out so I don't have any crunchy lines. And I got her chin here. Same thing with the above the eyebrows. Okay. Under both eyes is where you're going to be able to see the most uh, highlight. And you also got to be the most careful because you can overdo it easily. And now I'm using a little bit more tan skin. I'm going to pull this down her nose and again highlighting her face. See how we're building this up little by little. I need to get her lips. She's really cute. Thankfully, I've got this visor on because I don't think I'd be able to see as well without it. And again, I'm just building this color up until I got more and more. Can you see how that's working? Okay. I'm going to take a break from the face for just a second so I can build up the rest of her arms and everything. And again, I'm mixing 50, mm, I guess 50, 50, it's pretty close. 50, 50 orange, uh, orange leather and 50, 50, maybe a little bit more orange leather. There we go. A little bit of um, the burgundy, the burgundy wine. All right, flip this over and get those little tiny fingers. And this is I'm on the fingers. I'm just going to try to use a little bit of that orange because I want those to really stand out because they're not going to otherwise. Whoa, I'm losing my sight. <laughs> Mixture. Who here is going to ReaperCon? Is anybody going to be seeing me there? Anybody else, rather? All right, that looks good. And again, I'm feathering. Just building it up. Visors are so important. There's a reason jewelers and, jewelers and dentists use them for detail work. I have just, so I actually went to the dentist and that's where I kind of just decided finally I'm going to get, I'm going to use this visor because look at how smooth that is. That's just a dream. I wasn't, not able to do that with my glasses on normally. I can't even see my model with my glasses on. 
um, under normal circumstances. There we go. See how that's building up a little bit more of that brown and only in the sh only in the highlights. It's just getting smaller. She looks kind of mad. I'm making her face just a little bit lighter than the rest of her skin because it's it's going to show up more. going to make her have more expression. She's so mad. Can you see? You know I am. I'm going to use a KDM or Reaper figure for your... Oh, I'm going to use Reaper. Absolutely. We're at ReaperCon. They supply you with all the figures. They kind of want you to use their stuff. <laughs> yeah. We do have um, a, like some kind of barbarian figure for my skin tones class. All right, so now I just have the tanned skin. I'm trying to hit these little highlights. They're so small. But they're so important, and I think having a visor, oh my gosh, I couldn't do this without the visor. There we go. See how we're getting that nice little highlight under her eye? It's so important on a little figure. And then on her nose. And then that little one on her chin. And then it's kind of blended in like that. Let's see how that looks on camera. Yup, that looks good. Now let's add, let's add that wash. We've got our Caspian, oh, that's Seraphim Sibia. That's not what I want. What did I use? Caspian Flesh Wash, that's what I was using. I'm gonna put some of this on her face. And it should all blend all those little crunchy lines if there's any together and also give the skin some kind of satin look, which is what I want also. And I just noticed that it, in addition, it warms up the skin as well, which is also an added bonus. All right, so that's gonna dry. We'll work on this part of the, of the arm. I'm gonna add more orange. There we go. There's a little crease on her elbow there. There we go. So I'm pulling it toward the elbow because that's where the main light's gonna be. The main highlight, and then on the bottom, it's a little bit more on the warm side. More, more of the burgundy. And then again, I can add more orange for that little spot highlight. Spot highlight? Let's see if I can blend that in a little bit better. Yeah, that's my little spot highlight right there. Let's see if I can do another one over here. Oh yeah. See, again, pulling it toward that lightest point. Now, this is not a recipe for dark skin tone. This is me remembering how um, a particular dark skin tone can look. What I recommend is if you do not have dark skin yourself, get a reference. Go get a reference because there's so many different colors of dark skin that you, you could do a different model every day for a long time. And there we go, a little bit more. See how that's starting to look highlighted? Battle of Damage Edition, wait, 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 what a miss. 
<laughs> She's gonna have purple hair. She's gonna have purple. Hey, Rob Jedi. Good morning. Eeyore says, I built the warriors, warrior ec from Echoes last night, and everything went together great. And then she got a dog of, of or a, a dot of plastic cement on her face. Oh, no. That's, a, that's not good. Like the archer, she, she's the Kingdom Death Druid from Echoes of Death 2. We're, make, we're giving her some nice warm brown skin, and then she's turning out very pretty. We're gonna give her blue hair. You didn't rescue her? So pl yeah, plastic cement is one of those, it's, you, it's, it's almost too hard to, to fix because um, it melts, it melts the plastic. All right, mixing a little bit more of this orange right here. With these visors, I can see, I can see a big old cat hair or something. if I can get it off. I don't think I can. There we go. Okay. Pull that around. So I'm gonna add a little bit of more light. with this tan skin to her face. So I want her face to be the focal point. So that's why I'm, I'm, these little highlights are all gonna be a lot smaller, right? Make that one a little bit. Darker skin is a little bit more on the reflective side, so the highlights are much brighter. I'm gonna add a little smidge of blue. I know that sounds weird. I just wanna see what happens. I wanna add a little bit of blue and then a little bit of orange here. That worked out, boom. Nice little spot highlight right there. Look at that to do our knee. I don't know if that's gonna work. Let's put a glaze on top. Your cat keeps putting your paw in your coffee because it's thirsty. You need to give it some food or some, some drink. Okay. Plastic cement was on there. Instantly tried wiping it off and her eye was dissolving. Oh man, you're gonna have to paint like a patch on her. Like a, give her a pirate patch or something. You hate the summer gunk. Doing okay. Power out for an hour, sunny skies. Oh, I'm reading, that's to Illumina, sorry. <laughs> a bird's nest popped your breaker, whoa. With cold paws, warm, warm heart, furry coffee. All right, so that blue took it back to kind of that ash color and I like the orange better, so I'm gonna bring it back to the orange. That's much better, I like that. All right, now I've got this last bit of her forearm, both forearms actually. Let's see if I can blend it well enough so that I don't have a too big of a, now on, on hands and things, Again, with the lighter colors, I'm going back into my tan tones. Because if you look at hands, they don't get a lot of pigment on them, right? They get a little lighter. Unfortunately, this tan skin is not light enough, so I'm gonna add a smidge of blue to my tan skin. This is that ice blue. a tiny bit and see what happens. I 
that works. That's just light enough. Just light enough. And then I add a little orange back here to the fingers. To highlight each one of those. We're getting we're getting in-depth painting today, guys. I don't usually I don't usually I'm not usually able to paint this in depth, so it's pretty nice. There's my orange on top. Okay. Now I want to go back into her face again. I kind of miss the top of her brow because Okay, so now I've got that bluish color. I'm going to go back on her nose a little bit. There we go. Boom. That's good enough. We can wait until wait until that dries to go ahead and add my my sepia wash or whatever that was, my wash. Back with the fingers with pretty much the pure orange, highlighting those and a little bit of mauve. There we go. What do you think? Let's take a look. It's, it's looking okay? Yay, nay? Oh, and she's got a lantern back here, so all this back here is gonna get much brighter and lighter. Right, because the lantern is illuminating her, her skin. Much better. I'm gonna just put a tiny bounce light right back here. Add a little bit of mauve because it's, it's not that dark, it's not that bright. If only you knew how to sculpt anything. <laughs> do you know, oh, do you know how to sculpt anything? You have the other echoes, luckily, good. All right, visor on. I'm gonna blend that. Oh my gosh, I can see so much better for blending. And then a little bit more orange. Oops, I messed up. Let's try, try again, add a little bit more orange back in. And then I'm just blending around here so that anywhere there's rough, rough blends, I'm smoothing it with glazes back and forth. Okay. If I feel like that's going to cause a tea stain, I'm going to pull it. There we go. All right. That was relatively quick. We can go ahead and add this wash on the rest of her arms, just like this. Boom, 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 boom. Get the back of her legs. That'll, and the washes are great because they'll blend, not only blend the or, you know, add that satin look, but they'll also, they'll hide any kind of bad blends you don't have, you know, you have as well. All right, she's looked good. I like that. I like how we changed her, her skin tone. Last thing I'm noticing real quick, I gotta put my visor back on. I noticed there's highlights missing a little bit on the side of her face right there. There we go. Okay. Let's take a second. It is 515. Holy cow. We had an 
hour and 15 minutes of that, that but we got all the skin done in an hour. That's not bad. What paints am I using? I'm using a mixture of Reaper and Scale 75. And did I use any Procro? No, I did not yet. Yep, Reaper and basically flat paints with flat paints. And a little bit of um, P3 flesh wash, but we, we talked about how you can use any kind of flesh wash. Bill Robertson, hello. Did I, let me check to see if I missed anybody else following because I, sometimes I do when I'm not wearing my headphones. Let's see what happened here. Other, we had, oh, we had some followers. Flat Flat is followed, Logie Bear. Oh, that was a while back. That was before the stream started. That's still cool. I hope they're watching. All right, I'm gonna take a second with this thing. It's causing, I don't know if you guys can see this. I've got a line in my head now. Not so easy to get scale 75, but Reaper you can get no problem. And you, so the burgundy wine is um, Reaper. And then I've got tan skin, which is also Reaper. So that's what we've used so far. And then we used orange leather, leather, which I'm sure you could use. Hold on, I'll get the Reaper version of that. Hold on a second. It's right over there, I see it. In fact, I'm gonna use it. Yeah, this one's good, okay. Pumpkin orange is probably, it's, it's a little darker, so you're just gonna mix a little bit more of that burgundy wine with the pumpkin orange. Let's see what happens when I put this pumpkin orange on my palette for a highlight. It's a lot brighter, it's a lot brighter, but let's see what happens when we mix the burgundy wine with it. It's probably gonna get darker. Yeah, yep. So that's, that's really close. That's really close right there to the uh, orange leather. Pretty dang close anyway. So now I'm curious. Let's take a little bit of this pumpkin orange and glaze it and do just a little bit of highlighting with it. Again, it's very, very small. Small, small, small. And then you get your Now yeah, that looks pretty. I like that. I especially like that up here. All right, now I'm gonna attempt to paint her eyes. She's already got dark, dark colors in her eyes and I'm gonna use a little bit of this blue. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a blue instead of a, my white because I don't want her to look surprised. I'm just getting this, I need to put the visor on for this and my glasses. <laughs> okay, let's see. Just, you'll just paint her face regularly and tie, hide, hide it when you're painting. That's a good idea. Mine do want a wet blend quite like this. Great, now show she is using her vision to paint. Such a cheater. <laughs> yes, I'm using my vision. <laughs> this is like the time she invented dry brushing and changed everything. <laughs> vision. Game changer. <laughs> Not so easy to get skills in your foot. Let's see. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. You feel bad. It's you got a cold. It's no. It's no good having a cold. Anybody remember how long it takes to get takes Gen Con stuff? 
It's usually about a week or two after this, after Gen Con, because they need time to recover. Oh, you're not gonna party tonight with the cold? <laughs> Rob says, uh, it's all sold out half hour before you get the email. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, for Australians all most of the time, that's true. Patient zero is fun and all, but not when you have to drive and with what feels like a head full of marshmallow. Yeah. Kai Bolos, good morning. We're in the process of painting some brown brown skin tone on this ranger. And actually right now I'm using a little bit of ice blue because I'm gonna try to paint the whites of her eyes. Try is the operative word. I'm Notice that I've got my, I'm bracing my two, my two hands together. I've got, now ideally if I were not streaming, I would put my wrists together and paint it. But so I've got a couple points. I've got both elbows on the desk and I've got my hands holding my hands. So that way I've got extra, um, what's it called? It's extra support. Support, that's the word I needed. Okay. I'm gonna take this slow because I don't want to mess this up. So I'm just painting in the little oval of her eye. She's got really big eyes for a mini. See that? And then I will actually flip her upside down to paint her other eye because it's actually easier because I'm not changing my brush direction. I'm changing the direction of the mini. And that way she's got both eyes. And I like that blue because it's not, it's not stark white or anything. It looks pretty good so far. Okay. Now, I gotta figure out what direction she's looking in. I'm gonna look at my art card real quick and see what she's got, kind of a weird expression. She's got big eyes. Hmm. So she's got green eyes in the art card. I think I'm going to try to paint these. <laughs> Any, any wild guesses on previous years? You think Tuesday, Wednesday was the earliest? Bill Robertson says, don't worry. We won't fire until we see the whites of her eyes. Yeah. All right, Mr. Zab, have a good evening. Got to bounce burritos. Okay. Um, I'm gonna use this burgundy wine for her, the, the, the pupil. Cause I don't want it, I don't want it black. I want it a dark red. Okay. Now that looks crazy. She looks like she's got crazy eyes right now. I'm going to attempt to paint a little semicircle here as best as I can. And I, I'm trying not to have a big bunch of buildup of paint. All right, good, good enough, all right. Let me try to fix a little bit of that with the blue on this side. Ugh. It's so hard. I'm trying. So she's looking off to the side. Whenever you do a mini off to the, like looking off to the side, it's so much easier. I'm just tempting. There we go. All right, so now she's looking. Yeah, that looks good. But she definitely looks mad. I need to fix the whites of this other eye now. Good enough, good enough. 
If I want to give her like golden eyes or something, I can add some of this orange, but uh, this gal, where's the other gal that I just painted? This one, I just had dark eyes looking to the side and I think it works. In fact, I think I do want some black, so I'm gonna put coal black on my palette a little bit. Oh, Rob, I hope that you're in bed. So, <laughs> give him, let's see what I miss. Oh man, Jacob Jansen. Thank you for that bits, mad love. Let's get some hype. Chocolate junkie, thank you. She is her, her, her other eye is not showing up that well on camera. Let me see if I can fix it a little bit. Oh, see, now I took my glasses off. It's so funny. Now I have to have to wear my glasses in order to paint, whereas before, come on. There we go. All right, now, I'm gonna give the, um, like, almost like eyeshadow area a little bit lighter. And then I'm gonna make her eyebrows black and she's scowling. We might have to fix that. I'm definitely going to have to fix that. Sorry. We're going to write over that. She has very thick eyebrows right now that I'm trying to, trying to amend. There. That's better. She still looks mad. Hold on. There we go. Oi, oi, oi. I'm being hypercritical now with my, with my, um, my visor on. Just got up to have some Brecky. Flat, flat, flat. I like that name. Could you show the eyes of the cam quickly? It's a bit hard to see the detail. Yes, I will try that. Chocolate Junkie says, I'm planning on getting the white Giggly, Giggly Lion soon. Did I get a chance to try a fight with it? No, but I want to. All right, we're going we're gonna to try to zoom in on her face real quick. It's going to look, I'm going to tell, I'm going to warn you, it's not going to look good for a minute. Hold on here. Let's do properties. All right, we're gonna do configure video. There, that's about as good as I can get right there. And it is kind of messed up. I need to use a little bit of transparent black, I think is what I was using. Give me one second to get a little ink or something to make the black of her eyes because they're just not dark enough. I thought I could get away without it, but I can't. Ow. Okay, somewhere. Transparent, transparent purple. There it is. Is that it? Transparent black, here we go. All right, let me apply this. Awesome as usual. Uh, I don't know about that, but <laughs> thank you. I appreciate it. Ooh. Extra paint. All right, let's, 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 I've got the more 
Okay, we're gonna try to get her eyes in here now. Now that it's dark enough. Oy, I'm not happy. I'm gonna try to, try to, okay, that's much better, kind of. Let me see if I can use a different, let's try this instead of the blue. This is pale skin. We're gonna use this in, as the white of her eyes. Hopefully it will be a little brighter. Maybe, maybe. Put my glasses back on. <laughs> How are you doing, chocolate junkie? All right, I'm gonna try to paint these. I have to be a little bit, I have to be quiet for a minute, otherwise I'm gonna make a noise and I'll end up messing her up. That's much brighter. Ugh. One eye looks to be a tiny bit lower than the other, sculpted. So I'm gonna try to compensate for that and paint on top of the eye so that even if it's not there, that's better, but the, the eyes are not equal. All right, we're gonna try something else here. I'm gonna use a little bit of this tan skin. To fix these eyebrows. Okay, and now I'm gonna to try to put some white, which I have the schmanky. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of that on my palette. This is the Artist Acrylic from Germany that I got. And this is, I'm using a different brush. I'm using more of a blunt brush because I need to make a little dot highlight on her eyes in order to make it look like she's alive. Let's see if I can get the right amount of white on here. Well, that didn't work. Mm. Now she looks scared. All right, we can fix it with the black. I'm gonna draw a little line around the edge of the white that I just put. That, that might be as good as it gets. I think it's time for me to move on and hope that I, it will look better once I paint more of her face. More, actually, you know what? I'm not hating that anymore. That's not as bad as I thought it was. <laughs> Did I get any of the minis for, K, from K, for Katie from the last Kickstarter update promo work? No, I'm not. The only thing I got from Kingdom Death for, um, was to, it was the spider silk assassin. I got her in plastic in order to, um, I think she already came out in plastic once before, but I did that for my workshop. But I've never gotten any, I'm not, I'm not Elizabeth Beckley. She's their studio painter. She gets all that promo stuff. She gets the cool stuff. Okay, all right, let's pull that up. The eyes aren't perfect, but at least they don't look too bad from where I'm looking. Now, for her lips, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna see what happens when I put a little bit of this orange on her lips instead. Mm, nope. Amazing 
got a boss baksu for my birthday and now I'm feasting on Japanese goodies. Yum. Oh, baksu, is that what it is? That's cool. Hey, user wood. Baksu. All right. Let's take a stretch break. Let's do a little quick stretch break. Because of all that concentrating, now we've got most of the most difficult parts of the mini done. Let's stretch out. Let's take this off. This looks crazy. <laughs> all right. Everybody out of your chair. Exclamation point cat stretch or exclamation point stretch. I think it's exclamation point stretch. Ah. That feels so nice. Get a little stretch. Whew. Oh, there we go. Pop. <laughs> ah. Intense. Intense painting. Are you ready for the next part? Now we're going to be painting her clothing. I think we should do her hair first. Okay. Putting this back on. So I can look like Cyclops. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna choose my blues that I've got on my palette here. You can kind of see them from a distance. I'm gonna use this purple um, from Creature Caster. It's the dark purple. It's one of their new colors. And I'm just gonna do a thin. And that purple's gonna look so good with that orange. Now she has beads and she has little strands of hair. That looks nice. Very anime. Like I said, this is the Monument um, Pro Krill Dark Purple. It's actually a really nice purple, too. Trying not to paint on her cat's eye circlet. There's a little bit of her face in there. Now that looks so much better. Let's get the rest on the back. Let me know if you have any questions. Yeah, thank you for doing that cat that cat stretch model, newbie. Did you actually get up? Did you get up and stretch? I know that some of you didn't. I know you didn't. It's okay, though. Not everybody stretches. You can stretch your toes if you don't want to get up, okay? All right, there's a little bit back here where I want to hit. There we go. All right, that's that's it. Let me look at her box art real quick. See, there we go. Got that purple. That's going to end up more of a blue when we get done. But I wanted to base it with the purple. Oh, that looks nice. All right, so she's got her bracers. Technically are those um, white lion bracers, but that's OK. All right. I'm looking at her shoes and they look like they're gray and black, but I think we're going to add some of this purple back in. So we have we have it in there. Hi, Brubaka. You're super excited. You always wanted to get into minis. My wife ordered me some to give it a try. Awesome. Did she get you um did you ever have you tried those bones minis or anything yet? Would be difficult sitting in a truck in traffic. You can't stretch your toes in traffic? I guess if you're driving, you can't, right? Can you stretch your fingers on the steering wheel? <laughs> All right, I'm looking. I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and make that purple as well because that'll look good with her hair. Sometimes I do things so it looks good rather than because it matches the box art.
See how I paint around? Again, I'm going to paint in the lines or paint in my lines and then I can go fast in the middle. There we go. Oh, I gotta get some on this side here. Yeah, that looks cool as heck with her, with her hair. We can add a little bit of this transparent black here because she's supposed to have pretty dark leggings or whatever. We can, oh, so transparents are interesting because they, they kind of tint things. They're meant to be, they're meant to be transparent. Um, but they're almost like an ink too, because they're really dark. There, that's better. I like that. That kind of kills some of the brightness of that purple, which is what I wanted. It's very, it is very blue purple. Like I said, we're, we're going to add things to it that's going to change it. Did I zenithal prime? I did. Actually, technically, we didn't just zenithal prime. We spot spot primed because we did the the lanterns. So that way, it gave it more of a you know focused lighting effect. So this is, I wouldn't hmm, zenithal implies it's like top down, or but yes, we did use the white and the black. Flat Flat says, after realizing I'm way too impatient when painting today, this has been cathartic. <laughs> Unfortunately, work starts in seven hours, so bedtime. Okay, get some sleep, and then come back in and paint, and take your time. I'm glad it's cathartic. Is it, is it interesting watching me struggle? Sometimes I struggle, and I hope that people get something out of that too, because I, I do get impatient myself. Huh, like when I drop things. <laughs> okay, so back here there's gonna be some light cast from her lantern. So, um, I'm gonna mix, because um, we need to mix a color. What's gonna happen with this purple when I mix it with this yellow? It's gonna turn into kind of a poopy color, kind of pucey color, puce. Watch this. So that's kind of gray back there, but it's pretty. That doesn't look too bad. If I want it to be darker, I can darken it up later. All right. Probably needs to have some brown in it actually. Let's see what happens when I add a little bit of that burgundy and then add that. There we go. Layer that on so it still feels like there's some light, but it's changed the color of her outfit. Not, not too much though. And here's the the black transparent over that purple. It's really strong. Feels like it doesn't dry as strong as it goes on, so that's good. All right, now on her hair, we got, remember we talked about that blue. Cool, love the spot highlighted lantern effect too. Yep, Oop. let's show it off again. See, we've got this lantern. Best way to treat painting is relaxation time. Don't rush, I agree. Flat Flat says, uh, well, I tried my hand on true metallic metal today and it was three hours that ended in a gray mess. You'll sleep on it. Yeah, flat, flat. I've got a lot of videos on YouTube about metallic metal, true metallic. And so if you want, um, I can send you a couple links. 
if you want to message me. Rob says, unless you can fuel yourself with frustration and rage, in any case, paint angry. <laughs> ah, that's funny. High for it. Yeah. All right. So we're going to use some of this blue over here. I don't know if you can see this. Look at this. That's a really bright kind of a cobalt blue. I'm going to mix a little bit of that together there. And we're going to be highlighting her hair with this blue so it will read. Hopefully, this is my hope. It will read more blue than it will be purple. And what's good about that is that her skin has all this warm browns, right? And so that means it's going to contrast so nice with with each other because blue and orange are opposites on the color wheel. And so brown is a, um, a shade of orange. Notice that I'm trying to highlight this, the apex of each fold. It's almost like I'm doing non-metallic metal in a way, but on hair. And we're going to get another, another color, highlight color in here in a second. All right, that's definitely more blue now. A lot more blue. I'm sorry, I was totally off cam for that, wasn't I? You tend to head down the frustration and rage route. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to use a little bit of that ice blue here and a little bit of this to try to get a lighter. This is my highlight now. I'm going to, so around the crown of her head, is where I want this highlights. Let's see if I can get this color right. So this is where I'm going to highlight much lighter, but then I might knock it back down with my original blue. I'm trying to use my vision. My vision is failing me. All right, so I'm going to do another highlight here. There we go. There we go. See, we kind of have like a, like a little ring around her head in, yeah, that's going to need to be pulled down with the blue. And then there's a couple bumps right here. Only the apex, only the apex of the form, the, the volume is going to get that little bit of, let's get that little cowlick. She's got this little anime cowlick. Kind of cute. There we go. Now I'm going to go even lighter. Try to hit that right in the middle. Oh my goodness. <gasps> no. Let's try to fix that. There we go. Now, so now her hair is looking cartoony, but it's looking very light, and I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to hit it with this glaze to kill some of that highlight, so it doesn't look so crazy unnatural. That's better. Glaze it, glaze it. What do you think? Sorry about the spam. Oh, the terrarium. You guys want to see? I love showing off my geckos. <laughs> Haven't painted a while, so struggling. I, I'm struggling. I think you can, even when you have been painting a while, you can struggle. I'm going to use a little bit of this yellow. 
yellow and blue often yeah it don't it doesn't hair antenna I know right she does have a hair antenna right here see The yellow will often highlight a little bit better than white or a lighter color. Look at that. See? Now, when we glaze it, maybe... Oh, no. That killed it. That absolutely killed it. Let's try lighter. getting better. It's just going to take little bits of layering. All right, let's look at these geckos because I need a break. You love yours also? You have an egg that's about to hatch? Oh my gosh, you have geckos? We have two African fat tail geckos, ginger biscuit and peppercorn. Hold on, I'm going to get these geckos out because they have been much easier to get to since I switched around the, switched around the terrarium. Hang on one second. I know they're both in this hide right here too. Oh, they don't, they're like, what? What are you doing? There's peppercorn. And there's ginger biscuit. Can you see they're on my shoulder? Hang on a second. Can you see her on my shoulder? This is Ginger Biscuit. Nice fat, wait, there we go. Nice fat African fat tail. Oh, don't go anywhere. Peppercorn is leaving. No, she's jumping off my, she yeeted off my shoulder. There they are. All right, they're not happy. They don't like this. They're like too much light, mommy. <laughs> yes. They're good babies. Let me show you the overhead real quick. So there they are. <laughs> They're like too much light, mommy. I want to go back to bed. All right, I'm going to put them back. They're freaking out a little bit. There you go. Ginger Biscuit is the peach one. She's like a uh, morph, and she has a white stripe, and she's called amelanistic, which means she's just slightly, not quite albino, but like low melanin. And then, then uh, Peppercorn is the brown one. She is the normal type. <laughs> yeah, I did get them both out. <laughs> They're a little easier to find nowadays. The weirdest thing, you're pretty sure you saw your actual name come across a notification. Did somebody give you? Maybe, let me check. That's possible. Let's see if, I, maybe there's a gifted sub, possibly. We had Demote subscribed. Did I make, did I, yeah, I got Dr. Notes. We got the angry redhead. And let's see, Belos, okay. Maroon just raided me. Holy cow, did we miss a raid? Oh, we just got it. There it is. Man, Maroon. That just happened just now, just when I was looking at what was going on. It's so funny. Let's give, everybody give some uh, mad love to Maroon. Some, some, some Twitch, Twitch hype. Ash Kedlain. I just was talking to you today. By the way, um, uh, where'd it go? So we're painting this girl right now from Kingdom Death. She is the the druid. Is she the druid? She's the druid. Or the ranger. No, she's the ranger. And then I've got another one that I finished. Well, mostly finished anyway. This is the one I was um, painting when I was talking to Flickster and Ash Catalane earlier. 
I'm still working on her a little bit, but she's the cleric. Isn't she cute? So this one, I need to work on these eyes a little bit. Paint Dragon, how are you? See, these eyes are a little trickier because they're just so small. Oh man, Logan, oh, there's a lot of you guys. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Hi, Maroon, you're exhausted. Okay, you, you go take a nap. <laughs> so now we're in the process. We were painting the hair. I think I'm going to leave that be because I think that looks good enough right there. Let's paint. Let's paint her shirt. She's got a little tunic. Am I doing colored eyes and a pupil? I am doing a pupil and a reflection dot and that's it. Colored eyes um, on this figure would be too small. And I just don't, I just can't do that off, um, on stream. <laughs> we got, we got the visor. So now I look like Cyclops and I have been able to paint a whole lot better than previously. I want to do something to her lips. I want, let's try this. This is Orcish Dermis. I'm going to give her just a little blush on her cheeks. Just a smidge. I'm going to mix it with my burgundy that I've got. Did I lose my brush? Here it is. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we'll try it. Yeah, that kind of went south. All right. Let's try this. Give her a little bit of blush. Oh, yeah, that's actually really cute. Cute, cute, cute. And then I'll put it on this side. Good. And then a little bit on her lips. Paint Dragon, thank you for the, let's do our lips super quick. Let me do this. Now my, there we go. In one second, I will write your name down. So we really appreciate subscriptions in the stream, I do. That's cute. And then I'm gonna put just a smidge of yellow for a little reflection dot on her lip. Just a tiny, tiny. We can make that lighter if I need to. Cute, okay. Ash, let's, sorry. It was Paint Dragon. Thank you for that subscription. With your Twitch Prime, P A I N T, drag on. There we go. Thank you so much. We don't have everything. He missed Star Trek. Show she doing impressions of Jordy LaForge. Exactly. Yes, that's exactly what we're doing today. Jordy LaForge impressions. All right. Let's paint her tunic, which is going to be kind of that. You bought 1.5 gram, Cracka. What did you think? Have you played it yet or you just got it? Cause it's, so I wanna give you just a smidge of advice if you haven't opened it yet. When you play it, only put together the minis that you're gonna play right then. So the four survivors and the lion are all you need. And then don't read spoilers. That's my other little piece of advice, okay? Don't read the spoilers. Just just read what you need to bear. Yeah, your twin brother did awesome. All right, let me pull her in. We're gonna paint her tunic. And I'm starting with this, um, this blue color is, no, that's not, not Brain, Eater, Brain Eater Azure, it was the other one. Oh, Lindanis Gray, it's like a, lilac-y color, kind of a blue, bluish purplish lilac. Does he need to wash the spruce? I, I don't ever, I never have. Don't get attached to characters, yes, right. Don't, yeah, definitely don't get attached to characters. I never, I, I'm gonna use a little bit of this. Um, this is a little, ooh, that is really purple, that's okay. We're gonna use that for our shadow color. Paint that in. 
That'll look good with her hair and her rest of her outfit. We're going to get that lightened up in a second here. Purple and, and, and green, or purple and orange and green all are probably my favorite triad to use of all time. Okay, see how we're getting over into the yellow? I'm going to switch out into this Orcish Dermis for a little bit of a transition. See how I can do that? Because the, this is the color in between those two. Purple has red in it and, and orange has yellow in it. So they're going to look good to get. See that blend? It just looks so nice. Because that's how, yes. Let's do that on this side too. We're going to make that a little bit of Orcus Dermis in the middle there. And in the middle of here. A little bit over here, but I'm not sure yet. We'll, we'll leave that off. Mm. That's good enough. And then I can get my purple back up here too. This is the, um, not the Edandel purple, but the, uh, ooh. Let me check her art card real quick. I'm going to take a peek at it. <sighs> She's wearing a, like a cloth. Okay, we'll just make the whole thing purple then. Wash sprues never hurts. Zang Mac, thank you for the follow. Welcome. Hope I didn't. Kingdom Death models are gorgeous sculpts. Um, yes, I, I love Kingdom Death sculpts. I think that they're some of the prettiest minis out there. For sure. All right, I'm going to start adding this ice blue to this color. We're going to highlight this up and wet blend it. It's eventually going to be the lightest, the lightest color of it. Let's get this purple on her breech clout, whatever this is here. A whole piece right there. Gets to be purple and then in the back. There we go. I'm going to use that blue again. See how I can wet blend it and it's so nice and fast because the paint is wet and I can just put my highlight right over the top. As long as I don't keep going back into it, it won't. So if you keep going back into it, it can get like a little bit of a uh, Kind of a gritty texture to it, and I don't want that. So now we're going to blend again. We're doing our layers, right? So each layer is going to be a little lighter than the next and a little smaller than the next to get our volumes. Uh oh, I hear my cat, I hear my husband yelling at the cats. They're mad. It's funny. See how that's lighter? Do, do, do. Okay, right there. I collect a lot of Reaper Metal and Dark Sword minis. You're thinking of branching out into Kingdom Death. Um, okay, let me warn you something. Kingdom Death are awesome. But they are a they're not the they're not a what do you call it? They're not a rabbit hole. They are jumping off the whole cliff because, I mean, I think once you get into Kingdom Death, you get really addicted to them. That's just my experience. I have often had, like, got to have it all syndrome with these. And that gets dangerous because they're not cheap minis. 
All right, see how we got lighter, that next layer? You guys are awesome. <laughs> this, this chat is awesome. We have a great time. The whole, you were like so, you were the whole sport, you put the whole sprue in warm water and a little dish soap. You do it to all your minis, force habit now. That's a good idea. I'm lazy and I don't have a sink down here. Usually, but even Facebook sites, people buy them up for the reason of reselling them at multiples of what, yep, that's true. They're really expensive. Try that next time. It's a lot easier than losing a small bit. <laughs> yeah, you can use a my first toothbrush. Oh, that's a good idea. Hey, slag bomb. What's up? What up? All right, so these. Now that I'm getting into the lighter, the lighter color, it's starting to get a little chalky on me. So I have to slow down a little bit. I'm going to use a little bit of this. Um, what is this color? It's like fair skin or something like that. I'm going to use. And that's going to, yeah, that's going to lighten things up a lot. That looks cool. Especially against that nice, beautiful skin tone. Nice contrast. Let me get that ice white. Ice blue, sorry, ice blue, not ice white. Nah. This is the fair skin right here. All right, now at this point, I'm just going to hit these. Highlights as best as I can. And blend it as best as I can too, because there's only so much I can do with s small areas. All right, again, with the fair skin, we're going again smaller and smaller and lighter and lighter. That looks good. The purple undertone is still there, which makes it look really good together. Those little purple shadows. Okay, let me check chat. <laughs> the bangs, oh yeah. We, we did that with a little bit of yellows and blues. Where do I buy Kingdom Death models? I get mine at, well, I got mine at Gen Con, these ones, and um, stood in line for them. And I usually get them from the store, which there's a sale every now and then, but they sell out really quickly. Really, really quickly. Okay, so now I'm focusing my highlights just on the top. Right, because that's where the most light is. So I'm, I'm do doing directional lighting now. Looks good. Do a little bit right here. And I have this Moonray flesh, which is a satin, which hopefully will maybe, maybe help me blend things a little bit more. Some of these um, these flat colors, they're difficult because they get real chalky on you. See, that's a satin. That's already looking better on her. See? Finish of your paints really matters. Okay, I'm just getting that highlight. Let 
that's going to kind of stay shadowed because that's all in the in the recesses. So I'm just going to add some more. There's a little highlight. KDM Discord, there is one. Um, it's, I don't think there's a lot of people that talk in it, is there? Oh, it's a bot, it'll alert you. That's true. That is true. It will alert you when this shop is open. It's, um, there should be a post con, yeah, the, the, the post gen con sale is gonna be pretty much any day now. Do you see how I'm doing? Little bits of highlights here. Kingdom Death, I wouldn't avoid buying Kingdom Death on eBay because there's a lot of, a lot of fakes out there, a lot of them. I'm not a big fan of art fakes, not a big fan. What do you think of these colors? Thumbs up. See, now we can get even lighter over here, but keep all those. I love that, that color right there. See, this is where the lamp is lighting things up and I can add a little yellow to this because that's warming. And that'll look really good next to that purple too. See that? Add a little bit of that orchid dermis. That that really made a difference. Look at that. Poo. Just a little bit of that pink. I think that's good enough. What do you think? Maybe a little bit more. A little bit more. What happens when I add just the tiniest amount of white? Just the tiniest. Watch what happens when I add the tiniest amount of white. She's going to actually read as white when I get done. Or rather the, this, the paint. There we go. We used all those blues and purples and now, and then we used the um, light flesh color. And now we can use a little bit of white and pow, look at that. It looks like she's wearing a white tunic and it's not a white tunic, is it? It's a purple and kind of ivory. She's got some tiny little faces here. I'm going to try to paint these. That's cool. And oh, she's got them all over her body. Look at this right up here too. Good. Let's shake a look. Beautiful. Ah, oh, thank you. It's called a lion's lantern's rain, IRC. Okay, hold on. I gotta I gotta scroll up. I missed some chat. How are you not in on this? <laughs> it's not an official Discord. AF F A I K. Yeah, it's definitely not an official Discord. It's it's a fan based one. Am I gonna add a secondary color like green or something? Yes. Well, not green. Red was my secondary color. You'll see. We gotta add this whole little fur. We gotta do all this fur right here. I'm gonna start with this brown color. It's the tan skin. Now I gotta put my visor back down. 
with my luck, it'll happen next week when you're smack in the middle of your performance test at work. Yeah, that's that's probably a good a good guess. I'm painting for gaming. This is for gaming. Thank you, Red Star Rebel. The cloth color looks really bright against her skin tone. Yes, that's the contrast, isn't it? I feel like I need to use a little bit of... Um, no, that looks good, actually. Okay, hold on. I'm going to take a little bit of this white as, as I bump, bump my head against the camera a couple times for fun. Oop. Okay. All I'm doing is kind of tap. She's got these little faces. And I'm just tapping them to get that final highlight. And I'm going to get one over here, too. Okay. Let's do a little bit back here. get the blend. So again, with the visor, I can really see what I'm doing so much better. I can see my blends are crappy sometimes. Ah. Sometimes I have to go darker in order to, there we go, blend it. We can, we can take it back up. Do 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 All right. <laughs> it's no fun singing anything when you have a little bit of laryngitis. There we go. All right, real quick, I'm going to get this lion fur back here with this brown color because I'm going to paint it up to be probably white. I just noticed she's got little faces in her hair that I didn't paint. Oh, I just found another little face. There's a whole bunch of them hidden into in hidden in this this fur as well. Well, we'll get it. I'm going to add a little bit of this burgundy down in here for a little bit of contrast. There we go. It covers a little better now. All around her face. Now that's going to end up being lighter. i got to fix it first. Let's get all these little face beads that are in her hair. She's got a lot. Many cool companies. Let's see. Have you done any busts? Oh, he's asking Paint Dragon. Done a few figs from Black Sun Miniatures, Conan. I, I am not a fan of that Conan model at all because there's there's sexy female minis, and then there's there's something about her that just doesn't seem like things are consensual, you know. <laughs> and I think it's it's the look on her face and the way that she was painted in the box art. You like Black Sun? Are you UK based? All right, now I'm going to use the the lighter color here. We're gonna fit, we're gonna just carefully highlight each one of these little tufts of fur. Cause there's, each one's gonna get a little highlight. And that's the reason why I painted it the brown start is to help give it a little bit of that texture. See how that looks around her face and it really frames it? 
There we go. Cute. Each little piece gets a highlight of its own. And I just found a little, I'm skipping over the ones that are um, the faces. Because there's a bunch of faces in this piece too. All right, with the white, I'm going to do the little face down here because it's, I want it to pop out right away. I guess it's like a hair bead or something. She's got a few of them. One right here. That's hard to make that show up. Let's get this one. All right, I'm going to take my glasses off for this. He's rescuing her from the evil cultist before. Why did the cultist slap her butt? Because that's what it looks like in the box art. Just saying. <laughs> that's why I don't like it. It's done purely to cater to an audience. And we know that. I think you could, in the Conan stories, women are more dangerous than men. They use their womanly charms to try to kill Conan. <laughs> Can I hold up the mini? To the camera to show it for a second? How's that? It's getting better. I need to work on that fur, don't I? It's looking weak. All right, I'm going to take glasses off and work on this fur a little bit. Oop, I still have. We're going to add a little bit more layers here. There we go. That's much better. And, yeah, that frames her face super nice. Okay. She's got these little faces in her hair. I'm going to get the white. It's hard to see them. Cute. Let's see if I can get this side. Yep, that's all that's in there. Let's hold this one up next to the other mini and see how she looks together. Let's see how they look. Cute. I like them. We do need some more. We need to. We need. We do need another color in there, don't we? Hi, Mark Goodwin. Thanks for the host, Mark Goodwin. Really wish you could paint now, but your swollen hand. What happened, Val Thorne? I, did I miss? What happened? I don't know that I saw that you were hurt. <laughs> yeah, Ash Catalane. <laughs> yeah. If, if I felt like her face was happy or that she was, like, glad, it doesn't look like she's being rescued from a cultist. It looks like she's being kidnapped by Conan. That's all. That, and it looks like that. Let's give this just a smidge of pink on her. Just a smidge. This is going to make her look a little bit more, just a little bit more alive. Just a little bit of pink on knees and on elbows. That looks good. 
a little bit more on the elbow there. There we go. Cute. I'm going to just do a little bit on the end of her nose, too. Just a little bit. So many sprues in the box. Oh, yeah. So the starting four, um, they have like that. I think that they should have all of them and the lion. They're on the same sprue as the lion. We're talking about the Conan Mini by Black Sun. But if you read the stories, he's a hero and a lifesaver. Or not a villain. Okay. I believe you. I'm just complaining about that particular box art. I believe you. <laughs> oh, red is the other color. That's what we're going to do for her. Um, before we do the red, though, we need to do a whole bunch of non-metallic gold. I'm just looking at her box art right now on this girl. Okay. So, and she's also got some more. Yeah, we're going to do the rest of her lion thing here, this. So we're loosely basing this colors, this paint scheme on the first, first printing of the Druid. It's funny that she's listed as the Druid because I think I thought she was listed as the archer, and she is not. Did anybody watch the interview that um, Jesse did with Poots about, you know, about the Kingdom Death stuff right now that is happening? It's a pretty, really awesome interview, and you can find it on YouTube. Here we go. Can't remember Jesse's whole name or his YouTube channel though. That's a, that's unfortunate. All right, give me one second. I'm gonna check chat. I'm just getting this brown going, and I'm gonna put it on the tops of her boots also. Took your kid to batting cages and it turns out form matters. Oh. Solid connection, strain the tendons and the base of your thumb. Ow. Yeah. And even if you have good form, it still can you can still have that kind of thing happen, right? Paint Dragon says the box I received the miniature in is plain brown and no box art. Okay. Yes, they are all on the same sprue. That's what I was saying. So, uh, Graham, um, Graham Cracker, Graham Cracker, is it Graham, Graham Cracker 317 is looking, is, has a, is putting together their, their Kingdom Death. They just got the Kingdom Death core set, which is pretty cool. And we were telling them that the first four miniatures and the lion are all you need to start. So don't put anything else together until you start needing them. It'll tell you, you can now hunt X, and then once you can hunt it, then you can build a miniature for it. I mean, you can do it any way you like, but that's how I would recommend it. These are really cute little fur tufts on her boots. These are for me. They're not a commission, so the paint level on these, um, I'm going to try to get it as high as I can. But since they're for myself, I don't, I don't usually get as picky as I do for other people. You'd think it would be opposite, that, pe you know, that I would paint higher quality for myself than other people, but it's not the, tr not the case. I'm much pickier for other people.
Okay, so that is all gonna get lightened up. That's just the first base coat is this tanned, it's called Tanned Flesh. It's by Reaper, where is it? Tanned Shadow, Tanned Shadow. We need more on our palette right now too. There we go, much better. Even with, the, even with the wet palette, things will still dry on your palette a little bit, depending on where you live. Chimera has a new couple busts and a figure coming out you like to get. Awesome. Twist Gaming. Um, no, Twist did their own interview of Adam, but it is also, I need to watch that as well. But the guy Jesse, he did a he posted the his uh, interview with Poots today. Graham Crackett, thank you for the follow. That's awesome. Sky Bozia, hi. You're just getting into painting minis, having a hard time finding nice female figures. Any recommendations? I would if you want if you're just getting into painting. I highly recommend Reaper and also Dark Sword. Dark Sword has some nice female mid models, but also Reaper has tons, and they're not very expensive at all. Like sometimes a model might be like six, seven dollars, whereas like a Kingdom Death model like this is going to cost you twenty-five. That's a big difference. But these are also nice female models, so Kingdom Death, but they're a little bit more advanced as far as putting things together and painting but you could always collect them for, you know, when you want to paint them later. D&D style, oh, Reaper is perfect for D&D style characters. If that's what you're looking for, Reaper all the way. Looking on the Death Monster site and you would like to do Ammo Slave, but it's sold out. Ammo Slave is not, not that hard to get. Um, she, I think she's not super in demand. But you could look, um, there's a Facebook page called The Night Market, and it's, it's our sister group um, to the Kingdom Death uh, by Lantern's Light group, which is the fan group that I help run. And, um, you know, you'll, have, you'll find people on there with different prices and everything. You might be able to talk somebody into selling one. You can also put a want to buy post in that group as well. That usually works really well, I've found. Because there's always people like kind of looking looking to sell. There's it seems like it anyway. But I've done I've done want to want to buys before and had been able to find pretty much everything I wanted with that. Just kind of um, be aware that people do like to, you know, raise prices. And if you don't like the price, you don't have to buy it. We just don't allow, we don't allow any kind of, I just noticed there's a bird face on this. That's kind of cool. We don't allow any kind of price shaming on the group. That's the only thing. Because there's just so much, there's so many people who want a chance to sell it. And then maybe they're going to sell it for more. That's their prerogative. Okay, that looks awesome. Let me check my chat again. I, I got distracted. <laughs> you're following, you're following Lumunus. You wonder if you have her? Reaper Minis has been around a long time. Great work from them in the past and present. I think the only thing I'm awful at is ruining brushes. That's a good thing to be awful at, right? I mean, you're awful at ruining brushes or you're good at ruining brushes? I'm good at ruining brushes. I'm very good at ruining brushes. <laughs> All right, my glasses are full of schmutz right now because I've been touching them and taking them on and off and putting this visor up and down. You brought cleaner and I keep a cup of water and you don't know what you're doing wrong. So, what kind of cleaner? Because really, you don't need to clean brushes too much. Um, and also, it depends on the kind of brush you're using. Oh, you ruin them too much. Yeah, too often. 
So if they're, if they are, what do you call it? If they're the kind of brush that is synthetic, they're going to, they're just going to wear out. That's just how they work. Your problem is you get too much paint on the brushes. I, I do the same thing. You can see it right there on, you can see the paint in the ferrule as we speak. And um, Slow Fuse um, on Creature Caster site sells a really awesome brush cleaner that really works really, really well. Um, and you can try it. I did a little post about it on Facebook. And uh, you, can, you can look that up on my Facebook page at Shoshi Minis. I'm painting the little... There we go. All right, I think I got most of the fur everywhere except for the bottom of her little quiver here. Okay. I'm going to let that dry. I'm going to get into my, this is the um, Moon Ray Flesh. I believe it's the Moon Ray Flesh that I'm using here. And again, I'm just going to highlight and leave a little, leave that little bit of brown, a little bit of line of that brown. This is the layered technique. I just got paint on her back of her leg. I got to get that off. See how that looks? I can leave little delineations of the fur. Just highlight the tops of these little marks. Yay! That looks good. Sorry, there we go. And there we go. All right. That's basically my idea is to go around and catch the fur of all of the raised parts on her. I feel like that looks like a bird. Just do a little overbrushing, almost like dry brushing, but not quite. On the, oh, I didn't get the rest to get this part back here. Yay! Aw. Sky Bo my cat, my husband's still yelling at my cat. Sky Bosey, thank you for the follow. Welcome. I forgot we were out of music. Let me put some music back on. There we go. Your problem is getting too much pain in the bird. Maybe Reaper. Drunken Brush Goop. It is awesome, isn't it? It really is. It's called Gentastics Drunken Brush Goop. I haven't changed this whole figure. Changed, changed brushes? No, I've been using Oh, and Spock, is that how I say it? Just started following, thank you so much. <laughs> Spock, I missed it. There's Skybosia. All right, yeah, I use the same brush pretty much most of the time. Graham, are you talking about me? Aw. <laughs> I have a background in, in, um, in watercolor, and I have a degree in fine art, so I put a lot of that knowledge, um, and I was a professional watercolorist for many years before I did the minis professionally. Another person who um, was a fine artist before they started doing minis is James Wapple, and he's kind of the same way, just lots and lots of practical experience Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's funny. Let's get that mistake right there. I got that little bit of. 
We're slowly getting this model closer. She's getting, she's looking really good. I'm a pretty quick painter when I know where I want to go with things. All right, speaking of, hmm. I'm gonna mix a little black, a little bit of this dark blue. I'm gonna make, and a white, and I'm gonna make a gray with a little bit of this orange, there we go. Blue and orange make gray. I think I'm gonna paint this guy here. And then I'll, uh oh, I just got it inside his eye. There we go. I've gotta fish out the paint out of his eyeball. There. There, that's much better. So I'm painting this whole little dude down here in blue. Bluish grayish. And I'll leave that, I'm gonna remember that this is gonna be lighter. I'm gonna give it a little bit of yellow. I'm gonna wet blend everything together in a mush. In a mush. See that? I like wet blending because it's so fast. I'm gonna get this side over here. We can add a little bit more yellow to that. See how that lantern just kind of glows on top of that? Once that dries, I can I can mess with that some more. We're gonna add some red to this in a minute. <laughs> yeah, who's going to Reapercon? I know Valthorn is. Need to save for a Devticon. Definitely. You, I hope to see you again. Speaking of gray, I'm gonna just use. I'm gonna edge a little bit of this. Just on a little bit of the, she's got like a little bands of uh, something around her, her. Just gonna hit these highlights ever so carefully. And what I'll do, again, is I will, see that, how that works? Ah, no, I dropped my water. Hold on a second, emergency. Shosh dumped her water again. You hope to have stuff to show me? Yes. Um, speaking of things to show you, I just need to photograph your uh, Naoti and send her pictures to you, and then we'll get all that taken care of because uh, she's ready to be sent to you. Man, I dumped the whole... Luckily, I only keep tiny little Dixie cups full of water, so I never spill too much and that's on purpose because otherwise I've had big cups and I've dumped those and then it ends up a mess. All right. <laughs> that went a lot farther than I expected it to. There we go. So she's dropped something and couldn't find it. We need to change that. We need to edit that. So she dropped something again. That's what you need to say. <laughs> Oh, am I? Yes, no, I can take her to ReaperCon. I just, for some reason, I thought you might want her. Because the thing is, um, ReaperCon, um, they they really, you know, I can take her. I'm just worried something might happen to her. That's all. They only judge, like, your best model. And I think just based on how ReaperCon or GenCon went, I don't know that she would be. I guess they have a bust category, so she could still get best figure, potentially, out of my stuff. Not best figure out of the show. That's not going to happen. Not in a rush? All right, I will show her around. Oh, dang, it's a little soon for me to get the vacation. Need to get to more conventions. Yes. 
Okay, now, now I'm gonna highlight with this moon ray flesh, put my visor back down. Like I said, I'm only gonna highlight, I'm gonna leave all that brown in the recesses. There we go. Because I want that to look um, very fluffy and light colored. So I need that, I need those shadows in order to do that. See? We can do a little bit of white a little tiny bit on some of these. Yep, that looks good. Because technically this is white, probably white lion hair that she's got coming out of her boots and her outfit. It doesn't take much to make that look white, does it? Just a little bit. Okay, let's get this part right here. Yay! Aw. Robbie Extra, thank you for the follow. <laughs> Appreciate that. Welcome to the class. This is our little our little virtual classroom where I'm teaching painting. Now let's just hit the, only the top ones of each one of these, because we've already highlighted all the individual ones. There we go. See how that looks once you highlight the bigger ones? That's with the white. Contrast. I'm gonna use a little bit of white around her face again. Cute, cute. I get in the habit of painting um, <laughs> the direction that we look at the most and then I don't end up painting the back as much. Oh, there's another little white face I missed. Another little bead. Let's see if I can fix that hair piece that I just got. There we go. Nice. Okay, same thing over here. We're gonna hit the highlights only. And on the back of this. Whew, I'm gonna need a little nap after this. Um, after this stream, I think it's I'm worn out. I'm worn out. I got so much to do yet too. I've got to take some pictures of of a lot of uh, commissions. But that's good for you guys because you'll get to see them. You get to see them when I'm done when I post them. All right, there we go. Okay, last bit is this little fur right here. Did I get it all? Yes, yes, nope, nope, nope. I missed it right here. There we go. Did I tell you guys I got to play first Ed D&D when I was at Gen Con and I had an absolute blast. Our friend Trillian ran it and uh, I played a cleric and we had 
Um, it was funny because Flickster and Genuine Vision were NPCs in the in the game, which was extra hilarious. She's like, I had to put them in. That was a nice surprise. <laughs> and then she has to she she would have to tell them about it after the fact. That's funny. All right. Did I get it all? I still didn't get it all. It's still not quite all highlighted yet. She's getting there though. All right, all the all the armbands and the rest are gonna be like non-metallic gold. I really want to show that to you guys, but we are getting close to the end of our stream. Should should I do a few before we finish, so you can see the non-metallic gold? Hey, Rob. Oh, how how old am I? Robbie Extra. <laughs> how are you, Robbie Extra? This is what we're working on right now. You can, t I don't mind saying my age. I'm going to be, I'm like 47 and I am 47 years young, which is an awesome age to be. <laughs> the thing about my age is that I don't really look my age. I look younger, which is fine, whatever. I like the fact that I'm a tribal elder now. <laughs> Do I mean this Gen Con? Oh yeah. We, I played First Ed when I was 10 in, a re, in the Red Box set, and then, but Trillian re, uh, ran First Ed this year. <laughs> Not old. <laughs> That's a bold question. Like I said, I don't mind. I think, I think it's silly that we hide our ages. I think it should be, we should be, like I said, we should be revered when we get to be older, not put out to pasture. <laughs> All right, that is awesome. I'm really liking those colors. Let's do some non-metallic gold. I'll show you the, I don't exactly have a recipe for this, but I'm gonna try to use this. Let's start with this burgundy. That's gonna be my first color. Non-metallic gold is a series of layers to make an illusion of metallic, which if you kind of know how light reacts and how gold reflects, it's not, it's not super duper hard. <laughs> All right, now the next color is gonna be this orange leather. So the first color we used on the gold is this burgundy. My fingernails look terrible. I need a new manicure. Please excuse my fingernails. I'm more, it's funny, I'm more embarrassed about my fingernails. And I should be, look at this, this is terrible. I'm more embarrassed about that than I am by age. Right, because I can, I can at least do something about my fingernails. <laughs> All right, so now I'm gonna highlight this very carefully with the orange. Ooh, that's probably too much. Yeah, that's too much. Each one of these little, there's like a little s bubble of a circle here. I need to put my glasses back on and use my visor because that was helping me a lot. All right, there we go. We're gonna hit, there's these little, I can kind of dry, almost dry brush it, not dry brush it, but like over brush it. You can see how it's, picking up the raised parts so much, but see, I really messed this pie up. I can see it now with my, with my visor. Okay. There. That's, that's the first step. So we've got burgundy, then burnt, like a burnt orange, which is what this is. Now for the next color, I need a, like a yellowy ochre color. So I'm gonna use Sahara yellow. It's kind of got a gold in it. Looking a bit bronzy. Yeah, we're starting, just wait. You were joking about the first dead D&D at Gen Con. Gah. How is my cold getting worse in just one day? You need to, you need to get um, 
some water in you, and and take a uh, eat some eat some garlic, like raw garlic. Cut it up and in, in like almost like a little, and then swallow it like pills, and that will kill it. And then drink more water. All right, here's this is why it's looking bronzy because we haven't added the the yellow yet. So this is a Sahara yellow. It's kind of a goldening color, and I'm just gonna highlight parts of it, right? I'm gonna leave part of that orange still there, and part of this is gonna be, each one of these little things is gonna get the top of that. It's gonna be gold, it's gonna be so difficult to paint each one of these. See, now it's looking like gold. See, now think about where the light's hitting and you're gonna do the little reflection, each one of these, in the direction where the light is gonna be, which is, you have to think, think a lot with non-metallic metal. And apparently with this one, I need to have superb brush control because my fit, my hands are starting to shake at the end of this. All right, that's that's the gold now. Now, now we're gonna use some of the this ivory color. This is the um, pale skin. You can use an ivory, and this is where you go even smaller now. Even smaller highlights. See how it's starting to look a little bit more? Actually, no, I take that back. I'm gonna use this pastel yellow in here as well. Yeah, that just made it look more shiny. Boom. See how that looks? Does it look like gold yet? Kind of with non-metallic metal is the rule of cool. So, if it looks good, you're probably okay. All right, I'm getting the rest of these tiny little ding blings. See that, that one needed it. All right, last little bit of this Sahara real quick here. That makes it more golden. Yep, that looks, well, we need to get this part over here. <gasps> no. Hold it up. Okay, and then a little white, a little white, because gold is, a, shiny gold is actually very reflective. And we just need a little white in the middle of that yellow. Bing, bing, bing. I don't know if that's gonna work. Let's see. Yeah. What do you think? I think it's good enough? Probably. Let's do this. I like that. We can also give this a little bit of orange on the sides if we want to make that look a little bit more. Let's see now I have to start over with my with my reflection and my yellow. All right. Let's hold it still so you can see it better. That that looks metallic-y enough. What do you think? Just your average Skaven, hello. How are you? We're doing good. We're painting um, the Ranger from Kingdom Death, and we've already we've already painted her today so that they go together. We decided to go with the brown skin tone. 
and we're going with really bright, bright highlighted everything else. Digging the blue hair. I like the hair too. I think, I think it looks cool. She's going to, oh, let me just, before I finish, because I really feel like she's got red, and I think you need to see how this red looks. She's got red strings on her, and her bow has got red on it. Let's do this bow real quick. You know that I'm into a paint job when I don't stop. Okay, so first I'm going to use this Haster Purple. It's kind of a reddish, it's a dark reddish color. And then I'm going to highlight it with a bright reddish color. Looks cool. Can't believe how much you got done. Yeah, this is three hours worth of work, right? Because we just have been doing this for three hours because we started with just the primed model. Oh, I like that red a lot. It's a little dark, but it's okay. I think I can handle it. We're going to Paint that all red real quick. Okay, glasses off. I'm gonna make sure not to bump her skin while I do this. Try anyway. Yes, I like that. And then I'm going to do this part of it also red. I think it needed that other color, didn't it? And the yellow as well. Those other colors. Now I'm not done. This is going to get better. Okay. Let's get out the other red that I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot done. Let's do this one, Blood Red. Yeah, let's, no, Blood Red's too dark. Let's do Antares Red. This is a really great red, guys. Antares Red is, um, look at that, it's just super red. I probably could also use this, um, Pro Krill Red, which is even nicer too. All right. Glasses are off again. I'm just gonna hit this. It's a, it's a much more, ooh, orangey red. Now that's better. Oh, something is wrong. Hold on one second. Let's try the Pro Krill Red, because Oh, that's transparent. Well, yeah, we could. Hmm, no. Blood red crimson. No, that's too dark. I'm gonna mix this again. This one had a lot of uh, medium in it. Try this one more time. There we go, there we go. Okay. All the medium was making it runny and I didn't want that. Yes, there we go. Look at that, is that drawing too much attention? That red is probably screaming attention, isn't it? We might have to work some of this red back up by her face. But I really like that so far. Let's have a look here in a second. Oh, that's so pretty. I think it needed that. Let's look at that with glasses on now. Yes. 
Looks kind of cartoony, but I kind of like it. All right. She's going to have other pieces of red on her outfit. Not a lot, but just a little bit. Like there's these um, little, there we go, these little straps that's going to be there. Good. All right, let's look. What do you think? And then, of course, the we could do the fletchings. That kind of brings your eye back up, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that. And then all these back here too, probably as well, right? There's a rule of threes, rule of thirds, that a lot of times when you add the color into a mini, if you can find a way to put it into the mini three times, so like the bow, the arrow up here, and then the arrows back there, that's good enough. See, some for some reason it dries it it dries darker. All right, we're we're not done yet with her. I'm probably gonna finish her off. I just noticed all these down here. We're gonna finish her off stream. See now we have three. One, two, three. It looks fantastic. I love that red. And if I do more gold in her on her armbands and stuff. Cool. I'm so glad she's mine. I don't have to give her to anybody. Sometimes I do these Kingdom Death models and I get so into them and I paint them for other people and their commission and then I have to give them up. There's a second quiver on her leg. Yeah, this whole this whole thing I need to get. Boom, boom, boom. <gasps> you, no, there. This isn't a quiver. This is a lantern. I think that's what you were talking about. This is the quiver, though, right here for sure. That's fun. So now because we've got kind of like red you know, all over the model, it doesn't seem like it's distracting as much as it was when it was just on the bow. I see a glaring mistake I need to fix right here. There. All right, I think that is a good place to stop. What do you think? I'm really proud of that. It's on the ground, the second quiver. This or these? Oh, it is on the ground. Yeah, that's on the ground. Yeah, sweet. Let's look at these together. Look at how different they are. One's got all these desaturated colors and one's got really bright colors. They're both really fun though. All right, let's find somebody awesome to host. It is Friday, I think Rainer is on and I'm gonna host him if he is. Let's take a peek. Um, mm, 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 mm. Did you guys have fun? Give me some thumbs up. I want to hear some reactions if you guys enjoyed this. Um, I really do like painting Kingdom Death, and I want to think. I think I want to do it a little bit more often. All right, hold on. I'm going to see if Rainer's on. I don't see him offhand. That doesn't mean he's not on. There he is. He is live. We're going to host Rainer. Okay, good. That just means that he's got only a few people watching him. We're going to do exclamation point mad love. Stick around, please, if you want to do me the favor 
We're going to do exclamation point mad love in this chat so that if you want to copy copy and paste my those emotes or otherwise you can use my own. Rainer 72. There we go. All right, guys. I Let me switch my music off here real quick. We're going to go over here. I will be back on Monday from... Um, what time will I be back? I'll be back from 2.30 to 5.30, GMT minus 5. I can, can't tell you if I'm going to be painting ReaperCon submissions for my thing or if we're going to do more Kingdom Death. So. But I will see you Monday. Bye, guys. Have a great weekend.